I'm really struggling right now to to be me in front of this camera. When I started this YouTube channel, I wanted to start with a bang, to be happy and positive and animated. And uh, somebody that I am not, we all want to wear masks in front of people because we want to be likable. We want other people to see us of something, of someone more, someone likable. And that's normal. Everybody on YouTube becomes a little bit somebody else when the you know, cameras are on them. So in this video I just want to be as authentic as I possibly can. Hi, my name is Ken, welcome to my channel. If you are a regular, then if you are new here, then I'm going to talk about my journey here on YouTube. I used to do these videos every 10th video back in the days, but now I'm doing this quarterly. And I also used to do these things, just no edits, no cuts, just pure old me, but to save you some times of these ums and ahs, I'm gonna have two cuts here. Uh, but otherwise, no scripts, just... Again, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm acting right now. <laughs> Difficult. So what I feel is that my channel is right now stagnating. It's not growing. I've had... I've been stuck on 200 and something subscribers for a long time now. In the beginning I used to... I used to be all in on it, you know. I do my research. I watched a lot of videos. How to YouTube. I did my research on tags and thumbnails. and good to buddy and, and uh, I wrote the script, I, I scripted my videos like three times, edited them heavily. One of my videos took me like 20 hours to make. It was my also my first attempt to to surf on those trends when the pandemic hit. I did a um, Covid related video which was so much work. You know, and I love to do edits. Believe me, I would like to edit my videos all day and to different types of shots. But right now, it's it's a heavy time time balancing act that I'm doing. But anyway, I don't think editing is uh, is an issue. Um, a lot of the channels they don't use any editing at all there and they're pretty successful and comparing to yourself with others is already a mistake so um, I'm gonna have to look into my thing so what my channel is about I don't have a clear niche uh, that's one of my main things I, I've been thinking that boy why couldn't I have just made a video gaming channel Sometimes I think of that, you know, it would have been so much easier to just, you know, entertain you for five minutes and then, you know, be done with it. I saw this one channel that has like 800 subscribers to a video about Diablo 2 Resurrection, which is a 20-year-old game that Blizzard is now uh, remastering. And his video got over 100,000 views um, because that's surfing the trends, taking something that people are really interested in, they don't care about who you are, um, uh, but they just want the information. And that's what basically YouTube is for in the beginning, if you're a new YouTuber, you just have to give them information that they want to uh, see. Nobody cares, cares about you. As for me, I like to talk about a lot of uh, philosophy about life and common sense and wisdom and all that stuff and and I understand a lot of people they get annoyed uh, because everybody wants to be the smartest person nobody wants to hear somebody tell them how to live and I don't want to tell people how to live I just want to observe this beautiful crazy magnificent scary world and find uh, some little positive logic in it and talk about it. 
I do know that a lot of my videos are pretty obvious stuff, you know, how to be happy, empathy is good, death is, blah, blah, you know. And there's a lot of silly videos about, you know, wisdom of Halloween. Uh, I don't, I don't know who's that for. Why would you want to watch a Halloween wisdom video <laughs> ever? But I, ha but I had a lot of fun making it and it taught me, um, it taught me great lessons and I, I became more confident in making these videos. So right now I'm feeling that this channel is just my little home project. I'm doing these videos just for myself and um, I don't have this big business logic behind it. So another thing is I did join in the beginning, I did comment a lot of people's channels and I did join Facebook groups and I found a lot of subscribers through that because I joined to them, they joined to me. But is that the correct thing, people joining you because you joined to them and, and left a little comment? Is that the... I'm gonna be honest with you. When I started, like everybody, um, I, I dreamed about YouTube becoming my full-time job, right? Who doesn't want to be their own boss and, and earn unlimited amount of money based on your productivity and work put in and energy put in. Who doesn't want that? Everybody does. But of course as the subscriber numbers just stagnate that dream seems a really distant distant thing. And right now honestly I don't even I don't really watch my statistics anymore. I don't I don't like I did like every day in the beginning I, I scrolled the uh, Body app, but right now I'm just I am under a lot of pressure due to my work and my um, my little baby and my new home and uh, and I want to have this time of of editing and really thinking about this thing uh, new scripts and stuff. But I but that's not the main issue. The main issue is like I said the disconnect of who I am and who I'm trying to portray. I think I just... I have to get really real with myself. And then this thing becomes less stressful. More fun, more intimate, more me. And I believe more magical. Yeah. So what I've come to realize that my niche is um, me. And I do understand that in the beginning nobody cares about me. Nobody knows who I am and they have no idea why they should watch me. Even I sometimes have no idea why somebody would watch me. <laughs> but I do know what I like to think about and what I like to talk about all the time and what gives me pleasure, what makes my grey matter, you know, turn up. And that is the philosophy and the wisdom of life. And, and and the knowledge, the, the curiosity we get from books and movies and, and how that knowledge can be put into practice of making your life better. Um, now there's a, there's a slight balance that I have to do in how I uh, present you this knowledge. It has to be from now on a bit more maybe more interesting way or more in a short dose or because I tried to do it, make it silly and everything, and that, that again, creates this disconnect of, of what I'm trying to portray. I don't know. Um, I even changed my, um, my YouTube backdrop um, from this complex thing looking into a uh, simple thing looking... <laughs> simple thing looking... <laughs> I have got down my editing um, a bit to make it less stressful for me and less time consuming because I do have other priorities at the moment and responsibilities which you know one day will pass but I will not stop making videos and that's what I, I am proud of about myself I will not stop making videos but I don't want to l l let my quality suffer but instead make me grow more. So I will start talking about books more often because books is something solid, something that has information and something that people can relate with. Um, when people are interested 
in some sort of a book, it's already a thing that they are gonna search for and so my abstract videos that are just out there in the ether and nobody watches them have a better shot of ranking. So maybe books, um, maybe movies and some little trends that I find value in bringing to you. Something new happening in the world and what wisdom and what clever life-altering observation I can get from that. Yeah, that's gonna be my direction from now on. And all the while I'll try to be as authentic as I can. Yeah, I will continue with my Laws of Human Nature video series. Uh, I do like to uh, not finish things but I believe this one is just too too important to be left unfinished. Um, there are some other series that I've done in the past like Comlinks or uh, Yo Basics, which have been left a little bit untouched because I just don't see any value in them at the moment. But if I have more subscribers I will definitely be returning to them and um, bringing up the fun factor because making these videos is just very fun but Mm, I don't have the editing time schedule for them that I really want and just yeah thank you so much for watching um, I don't want to take up any more of your time I hope you're gonna have a fantastic spring and I'll guess I'll this this uh, logging dude will see you during sometime in the summer have a good one